YouTube, what's going on? Zero Magnum X. Uh, I finally am able to this, make a video. Uh, my shoulder's feeling okay. I still have another three weeks or so until I go back to the doctors for those who saw the update video. But I could not resist bringing you a video with two, two dual power uh, kits. So we're going to pop these open. I'm not going to go over the mat. If you want to see the mat, so many other YouTubers have posted it. Go check out their videos. I encourage you checking people out to support them and give them views because we should all support each other when we can oh. this might be a little slower of an opening because that is how my shoulder is going to be but I will do my best slide this out of the way and I'll slide this out of the way too until we bring in the second one to open. And I will go over the Provo Pack at the very least. Uh, and I'll only do it once. I actually got two more of these earlier. And I was just going to show the loose promos, but I didn't realize I uh, put D Deco Talker probably into a deck or something. And it's not readily available. So, anyway, we have a Dark Magician, Neos. Stardust Dragon, which I a lot of people don't like this artwork for some reason. I do. It is very light, so apologize for that. There you go. I think I found a good angle. Uh, Utopia, which looks kind of cool with the materials and everything. Uh, Odd Eyes, which I, I think that's my least favorite of the poses. <laughs> and then Deco Taco, which I think is my actually my favorite pose. I love the action pose. Makes him look uh, makes him look like an Ace Monster. All right, and now uh, what you're waiting for, the actual packs. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got uh, Quillhort Genius, Tactical Exchanger, which I actually wanted that. I know it's cheap, but I have uh, a uh, budget rocket deck that could go into. Hey, uh... Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, not bad. Aromage Rosemary. And El Shadal Fusion. So it's a quick play fusion. Not the best of first packs, but still not terrible. We did get a uh, Ghost Ogre. Can always use more of those. They're, uh, they're rising in popularity for their effectiveness right now. Hey, that's a new one. Uh, Cybers Enchanter. Pretty cool. I always like to see uh, more Cybers support. Uh, Predaplanned Dragon Stapilia. We'll go with that. Another, another Ghost Ogre. She must have heard me. Gold Gadget. And another El Shadal Fusion. Okay. Alright. Oh, hey, uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Goki the Great Ogre. I was actually hoping to avoid him, but... We didn't. Oh, hey, Necros of Bryonic. That's nice. I'll take that. That's one of the better reprints. Archfiend Bane. Um, I'm super happy the Archfiend cards got reprinted because I like Jack Atlas and stuff, so it'll be a, a fun casual deck to put together. And then uh, Necros Kaleidoscope. I think I have the secret rares of this, so it's nice to get another one, but I already traded for some of the other Necros cards. Because of hearing of the reprints, I figured, oh, maybe they'll bring some of the cards back off of the, from the Forbidden Restriction list. Uh, Miracle Fusion, Double or Nothing. Bond Between Teacher and Student. Fight for Patchwork. And Nine-Tailed Fox. That was a, an odd pack. Unfortunately, nothing I'm really looking for in that pack. I'm looking for, like, um, Zayborg and the uh, Thunderstorm mech. Uh, Ghost... Or, uh, Ghostbound Haunted Mansion are the big ones I'm after. Double Hero Attack, another Quillheart Genius, uh, a Romage Jasmine. Oop, sorry, I'm a little high up. The Tefnuit, and XC's Change tac Tactics. Yeah, if I could talk.
All right, final pack for box one. Uh, the chair. The star serif sovereignty. So, chair. Hey, Calamity. I did not have this yet, so I'm happy about that. I know it's like a five cent card. I was so happy to get it. Evenly matched. This card likes me. Uh, I pulled this out of my other boxes too, and I already have my secret playset from the tins. If you didn't see those openings, please go check them out. Wrong trap card. You need the other one. Uh, Preta plant spider orchid and uh, righty driver. All right, not not a horrible first pack actually, or first box because we did get an evenly matched Inebriotic, as well as like ghost ogres, which aren't uh, like you know. Two dollars or something silly cheap, so those aren't bad pulls. All right, and I'm gonna just pull the packs off screen for this one. So, because I figured that's the easiest thing to do. Yeah, but Dual Power is an excellent set. There's a lot of fantastic reprints. If you don't know uh, and are just viewing this for like the first time. Uh, has, like I said, Infinite Impermanence is a reprint in it. And the card themselves are going like $45, I think, the last time I checked. So, definitely not bad at all if you're looking to pick up some new cards or if you're looking to pick up uh, possible budget versions of cards. So all very nice. Uh, Infinite Impermanence was previously a hundred dollar card, and it being less than half the price is is a nice change of pace. Hey, Link Karibo, I'll take that. I uh, gave up my ultra rare a while ago, so getting one back is very nice. Miracle Fusion. Hey, uh, Naster, that's nice. I uh, second one I got of him. Ah, oh, Shell Construct. This is the only thing that I don't care for besides Divine Serpent. Yeah. It's G E H, however you say that. Um, getting print, like variety upgrades. I don't understand it. And Decode Destruction, that's one of the new ones. It's a focused spell for Decode Talker. But yeah, I didn't care for those getting rarity bumps. Uh, Quill Horde Genius is neat, and a few of the other ones, but I don't know if I agree with uh, Shit All Construct. That's a weird one to me. Goki Jet Ogre, that's one of the new ones. I'm actually fairly excited about this. Um, it was a really cool card in the show. It did a lot. I don't know if it's going to be viable at all in the TCG, but it's cool to have finally. Uh, Preta Plant Orphis Scorpio. Hey, uh, Valkyris, I heard this is one of the better Necros to get, so I'm happy about that. Hey, Zaborg, I mentioned I needed him. There we go. And a Fright for Patchwork. Alright, very nice. I never had uh, Zaborgs or Monarchs were popular. So I'm hopeful that we'll somehow get Monarch support back. Uh, anybody who's been following the channel for a while knows I love my Monarchs. Double or nothing. Uh, another Cybers Enchanter. Hey, be caught from the Underworld. I did not have that. Now we do. Very nice. Uh, Scepter, part of the Divine set, uh, Star Seraph in this case. And then Toon Dark Magician Girl. She has a lot of hype around her and I don't know why. So maybe somebody can explain that to me. Um, which I don't know if she was hard to get or, or not before, but I thought I had one. I thought she had a reprint of some version before, maybe in Super Rare. Because I remember her floating around and I had her for a while. Hey, it's another chair. King Calamity, cool. Let me see. Draw of Fate. Uh, Perform Appell Smile Sorcerer. And uh, Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. Okay. Two packs left. Uh, oh man. Can we get can we get a Ghost Bell or an Infinite Impermanence? That that would be a nice, nice close. Yeah, this is the Divine Serpent I was talking about. That really didn't need a reprint, but he got one. Dark Magic Circle, I have these already because I got the uh, Dark Magician deck. I bought like three of the Legendary decks because of the Cyber Dragon stuff. So, oh cool, uh, Crowley the First uh, Prophesier. I did not have this, so now I do. Another Xyz Change Tactics and Gold Gadget. Alright, last pack. 
let's see if we can end with something like Infinite Impermanence, Ghost Bell, something that's a good hit. We already got a fairly good box because we got Naster and Bryonic. But I'm hopeful for a little bit more. All right. All right, Quillheart Genius. Tactical Exchange. Hey, Magician of Chaos, not bad. Not expensive, but I'm glad to get another one. With a Chaos Form and Archfiend Bane. So no, no huge hits, but a bunch of middle of the road hits. So I can't, I can't complain about that. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and get more content up for my viewers now. As far as Bakugan goes, uh, I'll have to address that probably in another video. I don't want to waste too much time on this talking about it. But I I feel a, a short thing for Bakugan is that the set two boosters are already out. So I'm not sure if you guys still want to see my decks for Bakugan with Wave 1. Or if you'd wait until I got, uh, or sorry, set 1. Or if you wanted to wait until I got set 2. Let me know in the description. And uh, yeah, uh, take care and have a good one YouTube. Peace.